Let me show you how to create the text bounce animation in Premiere Pro. First of all, take any text and then go to the effects panel and search for the transform effect and under the resort you will find the transform effect. Just drop it over the text and thereafter go to the effects control panel. Here you will see the transform effect. Just come down and uncheck this use composition shutter angle and then change this shutter angle to 360. This way we will get lots of motion. Now move your playhead in the beginning of the text. You can press the up arrow key to move to the cut of any clip. First of all I will show you the blue way. So no way is just come to the scale properties. Click over here and then change its value to 0 and then move little bit further and change its value to 120 and then move few frame ahead and change it to 100. So that's the new way and if we play it you will see we get the bounce animation. Now let me show you the professional way. Let's make a duplicate copy of it by pressing alt and dragging it over here. Then come on the transform effect and click on this stopwatch to remove all the keyframes we have just set. So now move your playhead in the beginning and then click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe and then set the value to 0. Now move your playhead 5 frames. So press shift and right arrow. So that would move it 5 frames and then change its scale value to 120 and then again move 5 frames and then change its value to 80 and then once again move 5 frames ahead and this time change it back to 100 and if we play it you can see we get the proper bounce animation now let's make it more professional select all the keyframes right click and select auto bezier and now if we play it we get the proper animation and smooth motion blur. Now let's make the out animation as well. Now while holding alt or option just select the first keyframe and press alt or option and drag it over here on the end and then select the second one press alt or option and drag it over here then next one press alt or option place it over here then the last one press alt or option and place it over here and now here you will see some little control if you hover your mouse so just drag and select all the keyframes so that way it would be a responsive animation do the same for this one as well in the end just drag it and cover all the keyframes so now if we play it so we get in as well as out animation and now if suppose somehow you want to change its duration so if you drag it maybe something like this so you you can see now all the keyframes have been adjusted according to the length of our clip so if we play it, you can see the in and out both animation remains as it is. And if we make it small, that would also make it small, something like this. So if you play it from the beginning and boom. So we got all the animations in and out point. So it would be a responsive animation. And now let's save it as a preset so that you don't have to create this every time. So right click and click save preset and then change it to the whatever name you want to give so let's say bounce animation and then let this be default and press ok and if we compare both of these animations with each other on the top and on the bottom we have the pro so if you play it you can see now you can apply this preset on any layer be it text layer or image or video or anything else. So simply go to the effects panel and this time search for the bounce. So here the preset we have just saved bounce animation preset. So here is the image and I want to apply this effect on this one. So I'll just drop it on this and if I play it you can see I get the bounce animation and if you want to learn how to create these smooth subtitle in Premiere Pro then check out this tutorial.